Okay, this uh, video is just to show a type of bridge structure that we, we can model here in, uh, in ABI 2009. This is a concrete arch with uh, uh, dual reference lines. It, the, the first reference line represents the two end spans, the pier, and also the arch. And then the second reference line is the actual deck of the structure, or the bridge deck. And so um, if we look at some arbitrary sequence here, we the, the first two uh, sections that are cast are the pier and the, um, or elements of the pier and the two end spans. Um, then we cast the, the actual arch, and then we start to input the stays with the deck portion. So these final steps with the stay and the deck are, are arbitrary. Um, just came up with some fictitious sequence of, of that construction. A couple of things to note for the uh, for the piers, I offset the pier from this deck or this uh, this um, horizontal element just slightly so I have a hinge at the pier. I have a node for this element that's assigned to one reference line and another node for this element that's assigned to the second reference line and the same occurs on the opposite side. If you actually um, go ahead and generate the input file for this automatically what will happen is the the master slave relationship will be between the hinge node and the node for reference line one or this upper node for this element it will essentially skip this node so that node is just kind of free to do whatever it wants to do which causes convergence problems the input file has to be set up such that the master node is the hinge node here and the slave nodes are the upper node and also this node here. So if I go to that input file that's been corrected, if I go down to day um, day 7, you can see I have the master node set to 26, the slave it's 28, and then again the master at 26, the slave at 27. So the same thing for the opposite side. Another thing we had to modify in the input file was for the arch. If you build the arch from one end to the other, you get this pretty large deflection at the opposite end, just due to the way the, the program is sequencing the construction. So in the build command, we actually went from the left side to the crown, and then from the right side to the crown. That's how we've set that up there. And once we do that, um, we can review some results here. And keep in mind that the only load applied now is the self-weight and the stay forces are actually fairly high so you'll see some pretty large deflections when we start in installing the cells and the stays in here that's again that was arbitrary so it may not really represent what's going to happen but it shows us that we actually can model this in, in ABI not a surprise I was confident we could to begin with but just had to figure out these connections uh, over here so um, just going through the deflection, we can see that here's that first segment in the deck on either side with the stay, and the second, the third, and the fourth, and then finally the last. So um, this this analyzed with no problem after we had made those changes, and uh, just wanted to show you um, what we had done to get it to work. That will conclude this video uh, tutorial.